My name is Rimoy Ghosh. I have qualified CSI in HRF 2020 with AIR 89. Here I am sharing my experience to CSI. During my preparation, I have mainly followed a rule that is R2P2 rules. Here R2 means regularity and revision and P2 means practice and positivity. At first, you have to keep faith on yourself that you can also clear the CSI net. It is very much needed. It will help you to boost you up every time. Then maintain the regularity of your study and make a timetable and you should follow the timetable sincerely. And uh, practice more and more questions, especially the previous year questions. It helped me a lot. Then uh, to, con uh, to clear the concept, you should prefer the standard books and you can take help from the TP always or you can I am really thankful and grateful to Jyoti ma'am not only for building my concepts but also for motivating me always. Thank you so much ma'am and all the very best to all the CSR aspirants. Study hard and smartly, stay positive and keep learning. Hi, I am Purba Pahari and I am 3rd SEM MSc student and I cleared CSIR GRF. 2020 with all India rank 110 and there are some key points that I follow during my preparation and I think that helped me to come to this position and I would like to share with you these points I think that will help you all firstly I would say that you have to believe in yourselves uh, first you have to think that you can do it and then only you can bring that to reality by believing in yourself I mean that uh, you have to be firm at your decision and that you can crack the exam in one go. Often means you, ha you cannot give your mind the leisure to think that uh, there is one more chance. We always give uh, excuses to ourselves, excuses in many ways like uh, first excuses we give um, that is the lamest excuse I can, um, I think that is the lamest excuse that we give that uh, we have we haven't have an enough time in a day to do our work so we can manage time in a day and that is very wrong excuse that we give because uh, every one of us has 24 hours and if we want to or if we are really passionate about it, about our dreams then we have to find time in that way in that 24 hours only and that is possible that is possible Another thing is that we blame uh, situation for our failures and that's wrong. Uh, the one who should be blamed for our failures is us, not others or not any situation. So we have to rectify ourselves, learn from our mistakes. We have to judge our mistakes from our failures, learn from them and then, when, then only we can go a step ahead. Thirdly that we have to do is uh, we have to know the pattern of the exams. The demand of the exam, rather I should say, the demand of the exam, what I mean is uh, just not, means you can't crack CSIR just by uh, reading books or gathering knowledge. You have to know or you have to implicate that knowledge in the exam, in, in the examination hall, in the MCQ. You have to crack the MCQs and that's what is you have to do. You have to learn that, not just gathering knowledge or not just reading books. That will not help you to clear. You have to implicate them in the examination hall and that's more important implication is the key implication is most important hello everyone this is ritu palpura and i qualify grf examination with the 122 rank in the general category and if i talk about the key points to clear the grf examination though so the first point is your hard work the second thing is smart work and the third is consistency because consistency ke bina koi bhi examination qualify karna is uh, not so easy so aapko daily 5 to 6 hours dene hi padenge uh, for this uh, examination and uh, i must say one hour of daily aptitude practice kijiye and uh, the second thing uh, is ki aap one to two three hours at least uh, uh, one to two hours de dijiye chaliye one to two hours for uh, your pyqs that is previous year question jo ki bahut important hai aapke preparations ko boost karne ke liye hello everyone my name is manuvida pradeshni and i took a 185 rank in csir 2020 i studied from uh, teaching patsala and academy and e learner and uh, the three key points for my success are first of all i work on my basics then i used to recall and revise whatever i studied in a day and um, the third is the PYQs. I, I solved all the last 10 year PYQs. I want to thank all my teachers 
especially Jyoti ma'am. Thank you ma'am for your unconditional love and support. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Nazmin Parveen Ahmed and I have cracked CSR UGC NAIT June 2020 with All India Rank 177 in Life Science. And today I am going to share with you all my three success mantra or I can say the three key points which will definitely help you out to crack CSR. Number one, your dedication. Number two, your persistency. And number three, the last but not the least or the most important one, your smart strategy. So coming to the source, you can definitely follow Teaching Pachala. And I can say, and I want to say, we the students of Teaching Pachala, we the students of Jyoti Kumari Ma'am, we're grateful to have her with her dynamic way of teaching. So I want to wish you all a very good luck and bye-bye. Hi, I'm Swati Ramesh. I recently qualified CSIR GRF. Talking about the strategies that, that I followed during the preparation, the first thing was preparing a target table. I selected about 10 units and prepared a target table, allotting certain number of days for each unit. This helped me to complete the syllabus. And next important thing what I feel is recalling the concepts. Every day I used to recall all the concepts that I learned on that day at the night. This helped me to sharpen my memory. Then another important thing what I feel is revision and practice. I think revising concept is as important as learning concepts. And after learning each unit, I allotted certain time for practicing previous year questions. I allotted all Sundays for revision and practice. This helped me to know how to apply the concepts that I learned into questions. And another thing what I feel is we have to be strong in part A also. So everyone have to allot certain time for preparation of part A. This will definitely help you. And that's all about the strategies what I followed and all the best for all future aspirants of this exam. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Piranka and recently I qualified CSIR NET exam in 2020 with All India Rank of 166. So, आज मैं आप सब के साथ में अपनी सक्सेस स्टोरी के कुछ की पॉइंट्स को शेयर करने वाली हूँ, जिसकी वजह से मैं इस एग्जाम को क्लियर कर सकी। So, according to me, firstly, जब भी हम किसी एग्जाम को टारगेट करते हैं, तो हमारे पास में उस एग्जाम को टारगेट करने के पीछे कोई ना कोई रीजन होता है। अगर मैं अपनी बात करूँ, तो मैंने तो मैंने अपनी CSI या NET exam की preparation 2019 में start की थी and I was give my best but the result was not good so I was demoralized and I don't understand exam वहाँ पर मैंने विरेंदर सिंह सर और ज्योति कुमारी मैम को follow किया तो सर और मैम के lecture करने के बाद में मुझे पता चला कि मेरी जो previous preparation थी उसके अंदर बहुत सी ऐसी कमियाँ थी जिनको मुझे दूर करना था तो मैंने अपनी जो एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन है उसके लिए एक न्यू स्ट्रेटजी बनाई और उस उस स्ट्रेटजी के अंदर मैंने स्टडी स्टडी के साथ साथ प्रैक्टिस और रिकॉलिंग दोनों को इंक्लूड किया क्योंकि मेरी जो प्रीवियस एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन थी उसमें मैंने प्रैक्टिस और रिकॉलिंग नहीं की थी ओनली स्टडी पर फोकस किया था जिसकी वजह से मेरा वो एग्जाम क्रैक नहीं हो पाया तो इससे दोबारा से जब मैंने एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट की तो मुझे पता चला कि जितना जरूरी हमारे लिए स्टडी करना होता है उतना ही जरूरी हमारे लिए प्रैक्टिस करना और रिकॉलिंग करना भी होता है बिकॉज जब हम स्टडी करते हैं तो स्टडी के थ्रू हम ओनली नॉलेज को ग्रैंड कर सकते हैं लेकिन जब हम स्टडी के साथ साथ प्रैक्टिस भी करते हैं तो प्रैक्टिस में उस हमने जो भी नॉलेज ग्रैंड किया उस नॉलेज को हम क्वेश्चन में अप्लाई करना सीख जाते हैं और इसके साथ साथ एक जो बेस्ट स्ट्रेटजी है वो है रिकॉलिंग क्योंकि जब भी हम पढ़ते हैं तो पढ़ा हुआ हमें पूरा याद नहीं रहता है कभी सिक्सटी तो कभी फिफ्टी तो कभी सेवेंटी तो रिकॉलिंग जब हम करते हैं तो हमें पता चल जाता है कि हमने जो भी टॉपिक क्लियर किया है वो हमें कितना याद है और उसमें से हम कितना परसेंट भूल चुके हैं तो रिकॉलिंग को अपनी स्ट्रेटजी के अंदर हमेशा इंक्लूड कीजिएगा बिकॉज जब तक हम रिकॉलिंग नहीं करते हैं तब तक हम किसी भी टॉपिक को क्लियर नहीं कर पाते हैं कि वो हमें पूरा याद भी हुआ है या फिर नहीं हुआ और इसी के साथ साथ प्रैक्टिस भी उतनी ही ज़रूरी है अगर 
इसके बाद हम टाइम मैनेजमेंट की बात करें तो एग्ज़ाम के टाइम पे हमें टाइम मैनेजमेंट करना और ख़ुद को मोटिवेट रखना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी हो जाता है बिकॉज मैं एक ऐसी इंसान हूँ कि मुझे एग्ज़ाम फोबिया है तो मुझे ऐसा लगता था कि जब भी मैं एग्ज़ाम में जाती हूँ तो सब कुछ भूल जाती हूँ तो इस बार मैंने अपने आप को मोटिवेट रखा बिकॉज मुझे पता था कि जो भी मैंने स्ट्रेटेजी यूज़ में ली है वो इस बार मेरे लिए इस एग्ज़ाम को क्रैक करवाने के लिए हेल्पफुल रहेगी तो अपने आप को मोटिवेट रखना और टाइम को मैनेजमेंट करना भी बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी होता है एग्ज़ाम टाइम पे और जो ज्योति कुमारी मैम है वीरेंद्र सिंह सर हैं अपनी फैमिली मेम्बर्स अपने फ्रेंड्स सबके लिए बहुत ही थैंकफुल हूँ क्योंकि उन्होंने मेरा हर टाइम पर इस एग्ज़ाम को क्लियर करने में साथ दिया है थैंक यू